right back with another one man but before we get started hit that subscribe button thumb up the video just to get the video going and get that momentum out there for these new subscribers and these new and um, potential subscribers i should say we need all of you guys to come on in and subscribe we are breaking it we breaking the news man we breaking all things surrounding this julio fulio hey, thing Joe, so if you, you know? like the content definitely thumb it up i did release two other videos breaking some other information regarding this case so if you haven't done so there definitely double back to those videos and check those out too they're doing really well in terms of the views and all that so you won't be displeased man you will be satisfied with the content man it is a big goal of this channel for me to make sure that i bring you guys content that is catered to this channel's topic and cater to what you want to see so whatever i deem is valuable that's what i'm showing you so today man we have none other than a julio fulio affiliate man he was caught on camera and he violated man violated his probation man he had to get up to the to tampa to see his homie man i get it man so we're gonna check that out first let's go over here so here we have two days ago Someone screen capped this pic, man, of Kenny Caps on the news at the hospital, bro. But it comes to find out that he was actually on probation at that time, man. You can see here that is the individual. And we're going to look at the case information here. So you can see he was booked the day on the 23rd, man. He was booked on the 23rd, that day of the Julio Fulio homicide. And his court date was set for yesterday at 9 a.m., man. So you know they questioned him about this homicide, man. They had to question him about this homicide, man. And so the arresting agency, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. So what I'm assuming they did was waited for him to get back to Jacksonville from Tampa, and went ahead and hit him with that violation thing, man. Y'all get down in the comments and let me know what y'all think about that. But it doesn't stop there because those charges were dropped, man. He was released, as you can see here. The charges were dropped on the violation of the probation or community control felony offense. All right. And we know that he is out now. All right, and as you can see, we're going to breeze through some of these comments here just so we can be clear. Probably just tried to use the violation to question him. That's 100% right. You can see it has 100 upvotes there. I know bro was mad. He had to do that one day in. Yep, see, so we knowing now that pretty much needed to, obviously he wasn't one other one shot. They just thought he talked facts i'm gonna go ahead and upvote that all right and and this seems to be the general consensus man right and so it makes a lot of sense to me for them to uh question him let me know what y'all think about that man so we're gonna go back to some of these uh comments here ace brother died and he got locked up right after same exact thing happened to fulio it's crazy right so they you know, they referencing the same thing happened to uh, Young and Ace, man. You know his name is buzzing around in this, too. So you can't be around guns or get shot at on probation or they violate you. So this guy thinks that he was one of the people in the car that got shot at. Y'all get down and let me know what y'all think, man. All right, let me just, I'm just scrolling through these comments here. Somebody said, dag, man, you know. Um, let's see, bro was all on the news. In Tampa, knowing he wasn't supposed to leave his county, his PO definitely seen him on the news and on Fulio last story. He was supposed to not be in no cameras, and they want to make sure he don't do nothing stupid. Man, and, and listen, he on the story too, man. So he was up there for a few days, man. So was he involved in that shooting did did he get shot at did kenny caps get shot at kenny cap get shot at or what you know what i'm saying we haven't heard anything outside of this yet but this comment just came in man and he's definitely 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 on fulio's last live man 
So I want to know, you know, down in the comments what you guys think about these latest developments, man, that I've uncovered for y'all. And also, I want to make sure that y'all hit that like button, man, and, and subscribe to the channel, man. We must say rest in peace to Julio Fulio, too. Gotta say rest in peace to Julio Fulio, because whether we, we, we know it or not, know it to be true or not, he was a high-profile individual, and that's why the feds are involved, man. You know, they're not taking it lightly, as you can see from an instance of like this, where they, man, swooping up individuals and, and, and questioning them behind this, man. Kenny Cass was picked up literally the day of the homicide, you know what I mean? So, we putting the pieces together. If you enjoy putting the pieces together, too, then you want to hit that subscribe button, because I will be breaking more information down, breaking more information just in general as i see it as it comes to me so you don't want to miss it by turning your notification bells on and hitting that 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 subscribe button i appreciate y'all yeah we know that kenny caps man was on the news man his po probably saw him violated him bagged him up definitely questioned him about what happened that's for sure man but yeah he was a close associate to julio fulio man i think you know we could see that kind of here it seems to be the uh, no jump a no jumper interview, and you can see Kenny Cap right here, and we scroll there, you see him here with Julio Julio here, and they on the plane, and here Kenny Cap at shooting uh, at the no jumper studio, and then here's Julio and uh, Kenny Cap right there, man. So. We know the truth now. You know, this was a very, very close associate uh, to Julio Fulio. Now, what he had to do in the involvement with this homicide, we are not sure yet. But we do know that he was picked up by Jacksonville PD, man. And it was definitely in regards to this homicide, but by means of violation. So that tells you just what, you know, po the, the police, shoot, the, the FBI, all of it, what they'll do, they'll, they'll get you to be violated and get you question, get you booked and get you questioned, man. So, yeah, man, we uncovering the truth behind some of this stuff. You know, we peeling the onion layers back one by one. You know, this is just the third day, third layer of the onion. So, like I said, man, if y'all like what y'all see so far, hit that subscribe button, man. And turn your notification bells on because more information could come through, you know, today even, man. So, you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. All right? I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Until the next one, peace.